accused of shooting and critically injuring a Daytona Beach police officer is back in Central Florida. Just hours ago, Otho Wallace went before a Volusia County judge after he was extradited from Georgia. News 6's Molly Reed was in the courtroom and joins us live from the jail with what happened. Molly. Well, Ginger, today, Othel Wallace finally making that court appearance here in Volusia County. The sheriff's office actually brought him down earlier this morning. And now that he is in Volusia County Jail, we also were able to get access to some more court documents to give more detail about what happened last Wednesday night. Twenty nine year old Othel Wallace. You're arrested on the charge of attempted first degree murder of a law enforcement officer with a firearm. Officially facing charges this afternoon for the shooting of Daytona Beach officer Jason Rayner. How's it going? Do you live here? New documents released today detail what happened last week when Rayner confronted Wallace behind these apartments on Kingston Avenue. The confrontation captured on Rayner's body cam. Can you sit down? I'll talk to you. Okay, Stop. No, come sit. on now. Moments later, police say Wallace shot him in the face. Court documents show Wallace's girlfriend lives at these apartments. She told police Wallace lives with her and that she found Officer Rayner shot after hearing commotion outside. <laughs> Wallace escaped only to be tracked down inside a tree house outside of Atlanta last weekend. This morning he was brought back. Volusia Sheriff's Office releasing video of the process. This is a like, react bandit. It's like a taser. All right. If you do anything stupid along the way, act, act out, anything hostile, I'll give you a warning beep. Wallace was flown back with the help of several other Florida Sheriff's Offices. We got some right here. Sheriff Mike Chitwood and deputies waiting for him on the ground yep. and taking him to jail. Now, Wallace has a public defender right now, but told the judge that he would be hiring his own attorney. He's also facing a charge of having a gun as a convicted felon. Now, as far as Officer Rayner, we have been checking in with the Daytona Beach Police Department to get updates on him. The last update we were given is that he's still in critical condition, but progressing slowly in Daytona Beach, Volusia County. I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.